The elf Eodar was on a mission. His father, the lead engineer on the Elven End City, needed information on how to hold a giant floating city over the void. There was a rumor of a floating tower appearing southeast of Port Bray outside Helheim. Eodar made the journey to see how this could be. Arriving at Helheim, he found the tower abandoned, but left untouched since its owner's untimely fall from the top. After substantial searching, Eodar found a journal from the creator of this hovering structure. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Realm of Vast. And my name's Fix It, if you don't know, and you're never gonna guess where we are. That's right, we're mining, and we're mining in Bone Bluffs. Well, I'm not really mining, I'm mining dirt, because this end project that I've been doing requires a ton of it. So much dirt, so much dirt, just to fill in, because we do want to have it all on grass. I think it I think it makes a lot of sense. Lord Knight's mining diamonds, I'm mining dirt. <laughs> what has become of us? But I think that what I want to do out here in Bone Bluffs, because this is where I've been taking the dirt from, I've been basically making making pastures. When Pride Ceratops was playing with us, uh, they, um, well, it's hard to say. You know, I'll, let me bring it in the, on the dynamo. Okay, this is our Dynamap. If you are curious of how to get access to this, all you have to do is support any Realm of Vastin member, either by Twitch subscription or YouTube membership or Patreon of any of us. We can give you the login information. Anyway, this is Spawn. This, we call it Treville. And if you go over here, this is Sindrasku. This is this is uh, tr um, Tannis. And if you follow this road along here, headed this, headed west, then you're gonna follow the road. And yeah, there's a couple little, little hamlets, little things like this. This is a... Uh, I forget the name of this place. This is a, a purple sheep farm, actually. This is where you can get purple sheep in the world. And um, if you keep going, keep going, keep going here, then you get to Bone Bluffs. Now, what Pride had worked out before they stopped um, playing uh, with us at that time was um, a, a dragon skull. Now, I'm not gonna try to recreate the entire dragon here. It's not realistic to their vision. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this an archeological dig site way down the road. We're not, not talking now, we're talking way down the road, but for now, I want to. I, I need dirt. So Pride had had made these these farm areas, and you can see they didn't finish them. What I'm going to do is I'm going to finish them and add some more farmlands um, because this is a perfect place to get dirt. So you can see where I've just been making like like this one's basically already done. You can see I, I actually planted all this. Um, you can see where it's been uh, terraformed here, landscaped here. Here uh, is actually pretty good, but like this area, not at all. So this would be a great place for for uh, dirt. So this is where I've been getting all the dirt from um, recently here. So let's go back to game. Now, what I wanna do here is I wanna actually bring in a church of the end here. I think it makes a lot of sense. I think we should have a church of the end and it's really, really, really gonna help, help, um, eh, well, no, I don't wanna do that. It's gonna help help speed up this process because every time I come here, since I don't have Electra, I need to travel sort of on foot and it takes a really long time. Yes, there is fast travel, but even the fast travel, it's way over there. Not a big deal, but when you're walking, you know, it takes a while. So I did set my spawn here and what I wanna do is I wanna find the perfect spot for a bed. Uh, what? No, for a church. Oh my goodness, I'm saying all the wrong words. Pride did such a nice job with this area. This is like a, I guess like a work place, like a farm, like a barn for storage and so forth. So I don't think that the church is gonna fit best here. Look how nice this is, this is really great. Uh, what a great builder. But I think that the church probably should fit over this direction, over there, up that hill. So let me show you what's going on over here. It's really, really nice. Man, this area is so nice. It's so beautiful. Uh, I just realized I forgot to sleep. So we gotta head back and uh, sleep. I, I, I want to. I really want my spawn to be right here where I'm getting all the dirt because that's gonna make things traveling back and forth in the end a lot easier. Where the heck is that place? Now, check out this area. Pride and I did this in between season one and season two, if you can believe it, way back then. I met them um, it, it in kind of germs, Germsy Boys Discord. And uh, I said, hey, I'm gonna be doing some, some landscaping, um, getting ready for season two. Now we built this road the whole way up to season two in uh, creative. This is one of the only creative things we ever did on the server, but we built the road because it is, it is freaking far. It's like, 
I don't know, 17,000 blocks or something like that. So we built the road, uh, like the gravel part in, in creative mode. Uh, but then all of this, of course, as, as always is, is all survival. So I'm thinking this is where the, where the church should be. I think this will be just a fine place for it. And it'll be really nice to have a church at the end here. Uh, man, I, I didn't realize there's like shulkers. Oh yeah, I put these here. That's right. Cause I was planting earlier, uh, several weeks ago. Okay. So let's find a place here for the church and I'm going to take it upon myself to just kind of put it wherever I want here. Um, and I'm going to follow this this uh, same format. Since we have prismarine, we have dark prismarine, we have brick. So, I mean, we're in pretty good place. I, I might... I might end up changing... This is bread nether brick, I think. So, I might change that to brick just because my palette tastes aren't quite quite as varied. Uh, so, I think I think we'll, we'll maybe eliminate the red, but keep all the rest. So, this is the main road. I'm thinking let's put the church, like, right here like right on the other side of this pond maybe that would be a nice place for it and then you know that would allow this this place to sort of eventually grow up you know i think it'd be oh this this might be cool and i want to make a small church too this is a very small little hamlet it shouldn't have a giant enormous church so let's see um there aren't a lot of materials here too i may need to travel back from materials but i think that we can uh put at least the main outline here of course i have nothing but okay let's let's figure out the main outline here let's go this way how is it oh man i thought it was like dark it looks so dark over here i don't know why um let's just do something like this let's do this and let's do over here i i, I would i kind of like to do like kind of a random uh size to be honest uh random like as far as not 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 really measuring it out so it's exactly symmetrical i i kind of would like to try that so let's do something like this and this is not too big right <laughs> uh let's go like here how about this how's this look? how's that look for a size of a church let's let's go up and take a look i don't even have scaffolding or anything here because i wasn't planning on building but I think that's kind of interesting. Let's do that. We'll do that for, for the church. Okay, so this will be the way you walk in here. And then what we're gonna do right away is first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go figure out where the middle of it is. So uh, now the middle walkway does need to be um, symmetrical. So it's here and here, right? Okay, so these are the, this is gonna be the, the aisle. So we'll walk down the aisle and the drop, the leap of faith thing will be right about here. Let's go these two blocks. I think that'll be just fine. Uh, I'm gonna dig down here and then we'll grab a uh, command block and put in the fall, put in the actual like leap of faith, okay? I just did a little cut where I did a whole bunch of building and I think this is gonna go best as a time-lapse. So what do you say we build this little church as a time-lapse and then I'll see you on the other side. I might even talk over the church. Yeah, why don't we do that? I'll talk over the church. We'll discuss sort of how I build and what I'm thinking when I build, et cetera, et cetera. And then we'll come back on the other side and talk about it a little bit more. All right, so to start with doing this, now this is my first time ever talking over a time lapse after I did it. So forgive me if I suck at it, but let's just give it a fair shot and go. Now, Pride did uh, this palette all themselves and, and really worked out the, the basic ideas of using all these colors. It was something that I want to get better at is being very colorful, but so far, not so much. So far, I mean, this is my first attempt really being as colorful as I am. So after I came up with the initial outline of the church, which I didn't count at all, I didn't make sure it was so many blocks or anything like that, then I just went up three blocks tall and, uh, uh, and I, I used a corner block of diorite brick and all the rest was white terracotta, which I have a whole bunch of. I went and farmed a ton of shulkers of that. If there's one thing that we don't need more of in this server, it's bones. Good golly, we have a lot of bones here. Then afterwards, then I started adding the, the roof arches. And I decided that I wanted to have a, a steeple peak sort of thing, but I, I wanted it not in the very front. So you can see I went back about five blocks or so and built up where a tower is going to be and then built a mini arch roof uh, on the front of it and later a mini arch roof on the back of it. And I, I think it really, I think it really worked. Um, I think it really worked nicely. It, 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 was, it was a very cool design. You probably saw the design, I imagine, on the screenshot. Um, then, after I sink through the night, then I went back up and decided how I was going to finish this up. I thought it would be cool to have too many roof arches going into a further, even taller tower yet. And, and yeah, it really did work out, work out really well. Um, you know, it, it was weird for me using brick and, and uh, was this dark prismarine. 
uh, for an accent. But again, I didn't really pick the palette of this area. Not that every house has the same palette, but I think it is helpful in general to have a, kind of a look of a kingdom, especially when you're doing this kind of Minecraft build. Then after I included that, then I went in some corners and I really like this idea, this way of doing corners where I, I dropped down one block. So down below where the outer outer um, ring is, there's actually a block below that. I think that gives a little bit of interest too. And we'll peek up at the top. It's an even numbered peak. Um, it's an even numbered place. So I had to, had to do a kind of modified peak there. But so far now, now I'm thinking the church is starting to come together. I'm getting this first aisle, kind of where the pews will be underneath. And after I finish this last little bit, then I have to decide what I'm going to do with the rest of the church. And I came up with the the idea of that I'm just going to do a really basic uh, system. You can just see by using the dark prismarine, um, kind of the idea, like I, I usually build up peaks and then I run the prismarine around. And that's going to really give me an idea of how how tall it is in various places. I did a little kick out window over on one side that I actually ended up editing after the time lapse, I believe. But um, just so it wasn't all the same. I, I really, I'm not really down with symmetry that much these days. I've really kind of changed my changed my ways on that. And and then we're just gonna fill in all this in brick. And man, we use a lot of brick, a lot of brick. Luckily, clay, hey, Realm of Vastin members and Vastin Dimensions members, if you're not aware, clay is a trade at the banking clan, so, um, yeah, I had to go out there and, and grab a shulker full of that. But, um, yeah, I think in general, the uh, the build turned out really, really well. I'm going to talk about it here after the time lapse, I think. And, um, yeah, it was cool. You know, one, another thing I try to do in the Church of the End is I try to include as many uh, ender pearl circles, like imagery, as I can. Now, this build is fairly small. So, to get a really nice circle, you kind of have to go at least 5x5. Five five, um like a five by five cross and then and then make the circle. I didn't have five by five. I had the best I had was three by three. So it looks it's a little bit like a circle, a little bit like a plus sign. You know, try to do the best the best I could. Inside I ended up putting one nice big one. Rarely do I tell you folks how proud I am of a build. I think this is one of those times. I am really proud of the way this turned out. Now you saw most of it in the time lapse, but here's the finished product. And uh isn't she a beauty? Oh man, I really love it. I love it. This is so colorful. Oh my goodness. And uh, props to Pride Ceratops, uh, who uh, who gave the inspiration of this palette and all this stuff, because Pride did all this stuff. But um, yeah, it's just it's just nice. I tried to you know, do my own style, but in the way of uh, sort of these, and, and I guess I explained a lot of it on the timeline, which I haven't recorded the audio of yet, but but uh, just the thinking process behind the tree. I just think it's a lovely Church of the End. Yeah, it's totally different. The, the, the thing that is the same is I tried to use the colors of green and purple, like we always do. And uh, it has, of course, the drop. It has the drop to the end right there. So, yeah, um, a little bit of an interior. It's not great. I don't love this altar. I'd like to work work this out a little bit better, but I'm not sure exactly how to do that. So uh, maybe if you have any any tips on a little bit better of an altar, it's got to be an even number, like a two or a four altar, uh, and only two or three deep, too. Um, and uh, this thing, like the, the the circular sort of eye of eye of the ender thing that we do sometimes there, I did cut this off. Now this has a, a build of bad back room. I thought maybe like a little classroom here. I didn't get a time chance to finish it. And maybe like the priest uh, bedroom. Because uh, uh, Church of the End has a priest. That, that's kind of the thing. Uh, Order of Man has a sage. Church of Man has a priest. Netherism we still haven't really gotten into very much. But with the Nether update coming in 115, we certainly will be getting into Netherism. But I just really think it's a cool build. I, I'm really, really happy about it. I think it's awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. It's a short, short little episode, but a lot of building. And uh, this took me that, that time lapse, by the way, it was, it was an hour and 15 minutes. So it took me an hour and 15 plus no, probably another half an hour or so to detail it and put in all the diary right and the lanterns all that kind of stuff you know luckily I, there's no grind here in vast and we have pretty much all the resources that we need so um that saves a lot of time i tried these benches i think they're okay it's okay anyway i'm gonna hit the road i'm gonna hit the road today oh look at that <laughs> look at that just as soon as i came in someone tried to shoot me I'm fine i'm gonna hit the road i will see you all next episode from realm of vast and thanks so much for watching hope you're enjoying these slightly short episodes and the lore bits and all that kind of stuff and we'll see you next time bye everyone